And I'm so excited because at least this time we can now uh, be more connected to many people about their feng shui. The of course, love is a choice. So, syempre, since we're both um, part of the showbiz industry, important for us that we don't listen to other people. And because, of course, if you listen to other opinions of other people, if you listen to what they say, it's easier to get rid of misunderstandings in a relationship. It's more of like we choose to listen to each other. Me as an individual, as a unique person, I feel that like you are your own icon. You know, you, you yeah. have to have your own personality yeah. shine in whatever. You have to take control of your destiny. Wag mong, wag mong aantayin na may magandang trabahong dumating sa'yo. Go for it. If you think you can do it, go after it. You know, you have to take charge of your destiny because it is your life. And... Yeah. Ambition ka sa buhay, run after your dreams, chase your dreams, and it will, it will happen. Kasi kahit na napakasyorte natin, if we don't do the work, it will never happen. Pagdating ng araw, ipapakita namin sa buong mundo na kaming mga Filipina, we are good people. That is just a stepping stone for us to achieve what we want because of love for our family. Nakaka-in love, so sweet. Alam mo talaga, totoo yan, Marites. When you are traveling, just the two of you, you feel young. Yung parang yeah. this is yesterday. You know, we've been married for 17 years, pero pa nagbabiyay kami, it's like we're dalaga binata na. Kaya nga, age is just a number because the heart never grows old. We realized that a sex therapy was a very narrow, limited field. And to really help and understand the person, you really have to take clinical psychology. The greatest sex organ is the one between your ears, diba? not between your legs. So that is why I decided to take a PhD in uh, psychology and clinical psych. The word is channeling your pain into positivity. You have to, because what's the point? We're here for a very limited time in this life and we've got to make the most of it and this year more than ever should have shown how important it is for us to push forward for us to be smiling for us to be happy if you don't want to do something change it if you don't want to be somewhere move do whatever you can to be happy because this is it you can't come back and do it again Two or three? Mga, mga two or three yung gusto namin. Meron ka ng Year of the Ox ngayon. Kaya ba? You should Kailangan natin mamaya. <laughs> <laughs> I will be joined by my dearest friend, Tessa Prieto Valdez. I, I really feel it's just really just being unique to yourself, being comfortable in, in whatever style you have, and I think it's being true and unique. I call her a superwoman, Miss uh, Gail Cruz Macapagal. Hindi nahihinto ang pangarap, lalo pa nga nating um, sitipagan. That's so amazing, babe.
everybody. Good morning there in New York. Good afternoon here in London and good evening here, there, or actually I would say good evening there in the Philippines. Wow. Today, my friends, I'm so excited because our very special guest is very dear to me. And I would say that, you know, May is definitely in bloom because our fun fortune and feng shui episode this Monday takes us to a lovely corner of womanhood with a special lady born to lead. And, you know, I hope you guys, especially the mothers out there, had a wonderful, wonderful Mother's Day. The youngest female mayor in the history of the Philippines at the age of 21 years old is my very dear friend. She is none other than Miss Pai Alvarez, who has proven that age is just a number. She became involved with various advocacies, uplifting the lives of her town, specifically San Vicente and Palawan. In fact, my friends, I had been there a couple of times and, um, you know, um, Palawan specifically as well, El Nido is very, very close to my heart. And um, I was telling myself, you know, one day I will retire in Palawan and um, having Pai, as my neighbor is really great. <laughs> okay, Pai is definitely a great inspiration to many. She is a mover, a shaker herself, and she is part of the young leaders around the world pursuing her passion and trailblazing causes. In fact, um, I also was uh, fascinated and, and a big follower and supporter of her fashion brand. So she really loves to lead uh, her own fashion brand and so many other exciting projects that she's going to tell us later. Uh, she has established her own brands and in fact many more and this is to celebrate in fact uh, at the same time her becoming a mother. The greatest role of all. Okay so mga kaibigan uh, without further ado I just would like you to please uh, welcome and join me in an in-depth conversation with none other than none other than this power lady today, Miss Pi Alvarez. Hello. Welcome, Pi. Hi. Hi. Oh my God, I miss you. I miss you. <laughs> I miss you. Thank you so much. Nabubulo ako because you know. Oh my God, it's the first time I had been seeing you so many times, but I have never, ever, ever interviewed you like this. So. Nabulol ako, so I'm sorry. My last interview was like with Boya with Boyabunda uh, 10 years ago or 11 years ago as my I first know. time as mayor. <laughs> so, really? ito lang. Special, special ka, yes. Oh my God, thank you so much. Hey, we have a lot of viewers right now. Thank you so much for watching, uh, everyone. Happy Mother's Day to everybody watching. Oh, that's right. Happy, happy Mother's Day. And uh, wherever you are watching, Thank you so much, or Glorda. Happy Mother's Day, Marmaritas and Pie. Thank you and welcome. So, how was your Mother's Day, Pie? How did you celebrate your Mother's Day? Oh my God, nagtatraba. Nagtatraba yung nanay. So, did you have a special, you know, celebration? Did you? Um, you know? because okay, so basically, I I just have I just gave birth. Well, I have a. Uh, nine month old newborn her okay. name is Nara. she's my first baby she's so cute and basically from then on since lockdown um since i got covid everything Whoa. that could have happened happened to me and then i started all my mama ventures and i did not realize with my three business mama ventures Mother's Day would be like Christmas. So, nagtatrabaho ako hanggang Mother's Day. Wala akong pahinga mag-impake ng mga uh, gifts. Oh my gosh. Gift. Wow. And look at that. That is the baby. Yes. yes. Baby Nara. Wow. Yes. What was this taken? Um, that was a shoot with, that we did for, one was for, I think one was for Tatler. And then the other one was for her birthday, for her eighth month birthday eighth because month she's birthday. A, she is the sunshine of our lives because she's so oh cute. Oh my gosh. My God. Okay, mama ya, ha? Mar marami ako itatanong sa'yo. But okay. then, of course, I just would like to begin with, I know we, we, we will talk about your, your ventures and inspirations because alam mo, okay. there's a lot of, you know, people out there, mamas out there watching us and sometimes, 
you know, they're sort of like kind of lost and, and um, you know, to, to what happened with the pandemic and everything. So can you just please like walk us through like who is Pai Alvarez? What can um, we emulate from her? First of all, <laughs> I'm just Pi. I'm just like every any any regular person. It's just you know, um, I like the joke now when when I say my name is Pi, it's like Buko Pi because they always misspell Maybe. my name. But that's it. I'm just Pi. Let's not go by my last name. Let's not go. It's, I'm just Pi. I'm like a regular you know Buko Pi. That's it. And I just so happen to be a you know a uh, a gold digger, not a gold digger, but a gold digger. So I like I like to. I like to work. I like to work hard. And, you know, during COVID, even though it was so difficult, I got COVID. I gave birth during COVID. And oh, yeah, I started all right. my, Yes. And I started all my businesses during COVID. Parang, I just didn't want to stay at home and, you know, be sad or depressed. And instead, I wanted to focus my energy. And, you know, you taught me that. Is that about, that's all about, you know, feng shui is 33%. Hard work is 33%. As luck is that's 33%. Right. So yung konti na lang, the I'll never forget. <laughs> so eh, ano pa naman ako, year of the rabbit. So talaga, kite-kite. Kailangan hindi ako, mapa, hindi ako maka, ano lang, maka sit down and do nothing. Kailangan talaga trabaho. Mm. So it's really the natural you. So you've been very workaholic. So question, okay. you know when you said you had COVID, was it during your pregnancy or after you delivered the baby? So I I got pregnant. I was pregnant uh, January of this. No, sorry, December of 20, uh, 2019. Yes. I found out I was pregnant in January. Nag lockdown tayo ng March. Mm -hmm. So wala. I was at home the whole time. Um, mm. and I was super sipag working out. I bought um a bike, an indoor bike. I was on the treadmill. Uh, I was reading so much, and then yun. I mean, it was so scary because, shempre, first time not in my experience. You know, the Philippines. Yeah, diba? that's right. Wait, yeah. Like, that's right. Like, can I just turn off my electric fan? Kasi no na, problem. Uh, Please go ahead. Oh, yes, yes, no problem. Yes. And then, yeah. So mga kaibigan, so si Pai palahad ano had COVID, uh, and pregnancy at wow, it's yes, it's really here, quite sorry. challenging, no. No, it's quite yes, challenging so to go through such. Sure. So, well, super, when you cool. went to the hospital, what happened? Like, wh what about your monthly checks? Didn't you like? Um. Well, I mean, I want to say you know, like me, you know me, like I'm really matapang, except when it comes to like mga multo ghosts and stuff, which <laughs> I know you don't believe in. But when it comes to like going out and stuff, like I really didn't feel so threatened because. I knew that I had to, you know, keep keep moving. I had to um, go on with my life and not live in fear just because there's mm -hmm. a virus. You know, of course, yeah. be vigilant, be careful. So when I had to do my doctor's visits, hold on, and like, and all of that um, requirements for like my ultrasound and everything, I went. I went to the oh. hospital. Full, but you full know, did you have to to wear all the mask and all the PPE? Yes, I had to wear a face shield and a mask. But no, no PPE, man. But because the hospitals also were very strict, you couldn't enter unless you had an appointment, and then unless you were a priority. Which, um, since I was pregnant, um, you you were You're, considered a priority. Yes. Yeah. Wow, you you really are a superwoman. I mean, you know. The, the, fact of the, matter, <laughs> the fact of the matter of going through that in a pandemic and then success. I think it was the best thing ever, honestly. Imagine, huh? Wow. First time, but baby. Me, but you taught me that because you always said, you know, look at the look at the positive from every the negative. And, mm -hmm. and it's the energy. If you absorb the negative energy, the depressed, if yeah. you turn that energy into something positive or you create that energy then it's it's just like it's you know it's it then it's a whole shifting of power like i could be sad alone and looking out the window what to do or instead yeah. being more active and that's when i started all my businesses during after pregnancy after i got covid covid pneumonia and then i started my mama ventures and now they're doing so well and i work from home I get to spend time with my newborn, and I super, super love my job after being a mayor. 
Imagine na, oh my gosh. In fact, let me ask you with that, like, you know, you being the youngest mayor ever in the history of the Philippines. That How was before. Has, <laughs> oh, that was before back then, di ba? So this is yeah, like... 2010. Um, 2010. So which yes, comes first? You, you, you were the mayor at the same time you had your ventures, right? um yes no so i was still in college i was uh my fourth year in um babson university in boston and then mm -hmm. i had the option to stay and work in new york or in boston but then my dad asked me to run for vice mayor in san in san vicente palawan and i said no i want to run for mayor so let's do it go <laughs> i knew i wanted to help so i i, I in my mind, with the right, you know, the right um, intentions, I think I could enter public service even though the training wasn't there mm. yet. Yeah, so, but uh, but you really have a now. You really have uh, helped a lot of people as well. You know, during the tenure, uh, whether you're there or not, you know, even to the present time, you still care for them, which is very very important. You know, so. <laughs> So moving on to you being a mother with the arrival of baby Nara, how has life changed you? Because you oh know, she the life, the like the biggest life. blessing ever. I thought, you know, I, I regret not thinking of having um, kids at a younger age because I love naman ako, uh, very driven. I'm a cancer rabbit. So very, very, very driven, stubborn, hardworking. Um, I have so many goals I want to achieve. I mean, I became mayor so young. I was able to achieve so much in the last 10 years. Na I didn't focus on, you know, like ha wanting to have a baby yeah. or a family because yeah. Yeah. I wanted to help people because I grew up so blessed. So I wanted to share that and be able That's to serve. Right. And I, and now with Nara, it's a whole different experience. Oh my goodness. From breastfeeding to like the C-section to healing to losing all the weight. Oh my God. Now, now I understand. And if my mom ever sees this, I'm going to say, mom, I love you. I'm sorry yeah. for always getting mad at you. Making you away ang hirap pala na pagdadaanan ng nanay. Yes, it's true, you know. I mean, I wish to be honest with you. I wish my daughters could uh you know, they are not that bad daughters, but what I'm trying to say is this is what I heard from before from my parent, from my mom before that, you know, it's only when you become a mom it's yourself. A do you, yeah, do you realize that, you know. that it's a sacrifice. It is the hardest job on the planet. Like <laughs> I was a mayor for 9 years. I run three businesses. I closed one retail operation yeah. and an office business. And I do other side hustles. Being a mother is by far the I'm hardest job I've ever had to do my whole life. Ever. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I know. I know. I just would like to welcome our viewers today. We have Georgia Gonzalez, um, Ali Noor. Thank you for watching. Dexter. Excited to know you both have fashion brands. Looking forward to know more. Thank you. Um, Amy, happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Leah, good evening to you. Joey Abanilia, happy Mother's Day po sa inyo. Thank you so much. Claire, thank you so much. And to those who are watching us from anywhere in the world, thank you so much for your company. If you have a question pala to us, to Pai, you know, bring it on. Uh, we'll be very, very happy to share it with you. Now, Pai, with a lot of changes that has happened in your life, you know, from mm -hmm. the political, you know, experiences now to the motherhood, being a mompreneur, were there mm -hmm. times that you felt there were challenging moments that you have encountered? And how did you overcome such things? I think every day naman talaga is a challenge, especially... When you live, you know, when you live, you have to figure out what you're going to eat. If you have a roof over your head, those are the basic challenges, the basic needs. And then from, you know, public service to being a mother, ang daming challenges. You have to please people. You put your, um, others before yourself. Um, That's right. That's right. When I was a public servant, um, lahat binibigay ko, kulang na lang yung damit na suot ko, pa, ko na rin. 
Tapos ngayon, as a mother, it's, you know, I have no sleep. I want to spend as much time with my daughter, but also I have to manage my business because I'm a control freak. And I want to make sure that everybody, like our clients, are happy with um, our products and what we give them and True. everything. I, think, mm-hmm. I don't really see it as a challenge. I Actually, I love challenges because then you can find solutions. Then you can find, you know, ways to improve the system. And and that, that goes deep, deep within my... Um, public service uh, background because yeah. so challenging ang public service at ang gobyerno ng yeah. Pilipinas. So uh, solving them is actually something that I like. And mm-hmm. in college, I believe I took um, negotiations and game theory and uh, all of that as a course. So I actually like challenges. <laughs> yeah, it was really like, and it comes handy to you. And it really, you know, public service to you is, is very, very natural. So I, 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 was, I was wanting to ask you if you're going to go back again, but I'm not going to ask you now. <laughs> Sometimes uh, I just... <laughs> well, I did nine years already. And my, I have my sister now who's the mayor in the town. Uh, that I used to be a mayor of at the Amy, Mayor Amy, and then my um my nako na pa yun yung fashionista kong picture yung mga sinasabi nilang mayor fashionista um and then my cousin is the congressman and my dad is the governor and then um my uncle is a vice mayor my brother is also I think a, a mayor she was a mayor but so a lot of my family members are involved in mm-hmm. politics but. Again, I think, you know, you have to chase your dreams. You have to love what you do. And, you know, public service to me is a service. It's not yeah. something that is, you know, I, not that I don't love doing it, but it's a service. So when you enter politics or when you decide to be part of, you know, a, a governing body, you have to be ready and to face the challenges of what a leader and what a change maker must do and th- those are the things that you have to think of iba yung, iba yung mga, diba? like online store fashion because these are my passions like i'm creative by nature i like to make things i like to um you know beautify things yeah i like to make Enough. things pretty so i have my home line i have my collab business with fem baranda which is love and mama because we are both mamas mm, yeah. and then I have my clothing line, which I'm wearing now. This is Noah and Nara with Charina Sarte, oh, who is now based cool. in Paris. Yeah. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, so Fabulous. she designs it, and I'm the marketing and business side. That is so pretty. That is so beautiful. So, Maya Maya, we have to flash where we can, you know, find your... Um, you know, business profile in terms of how yes, people can yes. order what you wear. So, lahat ng mga mama, anything about the the, the babies and the mother's uh, line, uh, we can learn more about from Pi. So, um, I just would like to share with you, Pi, that, you know, um, I know you have already answered this, but um, in terms of, uh, so, so what I'm trying, what, what I got from you or to the viewers right now when you were saying that, Challenges is actually that comes natural, right? So parang there will always be challenges on a day-to-day basis. And Pai, to start with, does not really see it as a challenges. And you love challenges simply because this is where you can improve your craft, you can improve yourself, you can help people, and uh, a lot more. Wow, mga kibis, yes. at least ano no, ang, ang ganda. Because some people, you know, Pai, when they are challenged, they become so depressed and they give up on a lot of things. Well, right? you know, I mean, it for me it goes uh, even beyond uh, being a mayor. Like I was a I was an athlete since high school, varsity volleyball, basketball, um, softball. I tried soccer. As in, talagang I'm very competitive by nature. And and then you know that already made me a very competitive person. So whatever challenge you throw at me, like if you throw a ball, like a fastball at me, I will catch it. I won't let it hit me. What was you when I became a mayor? Kaya ako sinasabi yung everyday my challenge. Kasi siempre yung mga 
Like yung mga residente sa San Vicente, every day, they fish for a living to feed their families. They fish for a living to, you know, to have a roof over their heads. So that's their yeah. daily challenge. And so every day you are faced with challenges, good, bad, easy, um, very difficult. Mm-hmm. And I think that that should be how life is because that's how you improve. That's how you grow. If you're just idle, tas wala ka namang challenge sa harap mo, eh, di ba ka, di ba? Naka lazy boy na lang ako. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like it, Pat, because I think, you know, this is what the other people should also understand that despite of the fact that, you know, you live, uh, uh, like what you said, you are so blessed, right? A very, so blessed in life. But then you can practically relate on how, you know, the plight of like ordinary fishermen or or the other, the need, yes. the need of the people, you know, in your, in your mga barangay or tan. Ang ganda. I really, really like it. I adore you so much of that because um, some people just don't understand and sometimes they just don't have the grasp of how it is to live in that world and and you have actually has lived in both worlds. Yes. Well, congratulations. I was lucky enough to experience uh, being a mayor for three terms and see how poor the rest of the country really is. And so that's why, um, you know, for me, iba yung challenge natin. Like for me, I live in Manila now. Iba yung challenge natin in Manila versus their challenges in the province. So it, it's a very, very different life that they live. Yeah. What do you miss in San Vicente? Of course, the beautiful oh beach. God. What else? <laughs> I miss the beach. I miss, I miss the fresh air and... Um, no, I mean, you know, it's something I don't really miss anything because I'm I'm always looking forward, never backwards. Um yeah. I get to go to San Vicente when I want to, of course, not during ECQ, but when pag ano na, pag okay na travels. And again, I'm so busy with work that the beach na lang later on will be a reward. Um it's something that, you know, I I guess Wala na akong time to miss kasi nag-ipake-pake ng orders sa mga <laughs> businesses ko. Oh, oh, okay. na- oh my gosh. So b- before we uh, no, before we talk about your next endeavor on, on how are your plans in growing the business into the next level, we will just be, um you know, uh playing a short uh, VTR for a break for maybe like a okay. minute. And okay. then we'll come back. But uh, okay. while they are preparing for that, again, Pai, let's all welcome our viewers. Uh, Rene Grace, thank you so much. Happy Mother's Day, everyone, thou. Thank Happy you, Miss Lordy. Uh, good evening to you also. Elizabeth Abadilio, thank you so much. Happy Mother's Day to both of you and to all the moms out there. Of course, our <laughs> dear there's Neil. Hi, Neil. <laughs> thank you for watching. <laughs> Carl, hello. Thank you so much. Okay, so mga kaibigan, please stay tuned. We will be back in a few minutes. We'll be back very soon. We just need to uh, play to you our uh, very short break. Yay! Hello. Hey guys, it is the year of the metal ox in 2021. So please don't so forget, please to don't forget the of your almanac. It comes with very beautiful pages. This almanac is actually loaded with a lot of information. You can find out when is the best day to get married, to be engaged, to move house, to renovate, to travel, and even set auspicious dates and meeting times. And this has been developed in such a way that everyone will be guided. What are the lucky and unlucky directions for the year? What are the so-called um, unlucky directions or renovation rules that you cannot do in 2021. I also put some tips. What are the post-pandemic tips that everyone can do? How to declutter your home or organizing your home. So this is available at freegat.co.uk. Hey guys, you much awaited 2021 year of the metal ox horoscope guides planner and almanac are now available at 
www.freegate.co.uk these are loaded with a lot of information to guide you for the rest of the year be it your health wealth love or career so please head now to www.freegate.co.uk and make it your special gift to someone you love or even to your friends or family members see you at freegate.co.uk Ayan. Okay, mga kaibigan, we are back. We are back. So to those who just tune in today, I would like to say again, welcome for tuning in to you. Melissa Lapido, happy Mother's Day to both of you. Keep on going. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Maggie Paras, for watching thank as well. You. Happy Mother's Day. Yes, thank you, thank you. So Pai, for example, lang, uh, some people kasi they said, ay, buti naman sila because, you know, uh, they have the capacity to to you know to launch a business they have the opportunity and everything what can you say to those people who has like limited opportunities limited budget and and how do you think they can uh cope up in this pandemic and, and at yet you know start all over again i think, I that, think that there should there never, should never be a limit, or you should never say that because i don't have this that's a very like negative way of saying, ay, kasi wala akong ganyan, hindi ko magagawa. Eh, kung may kamay ka naman, may paa ka naman, you already have assets, meron ka namang, you know, you have yourself, that's one thing. Um, I used to have nothing at one point in my life, you know that, Marites. Yes, yes. And I just became resourceful. So, kung, you know, you have to have the right attitude. If you want to grow a tree, you have to first look for the seed. It's just not gonna grow itself. So, baka humingi ka na Nang, nang, nang seed or nang buto sa kapitbahay mo or humiram ka sa friend mo, balik mo na lang yung buto mamaya. Pero, di ba? I love but, it. Like, but you have to, you have to find ways and you have to think fast because nowadays, especially with COVID, there is no excuse. I find that if you make an excuse, then you are missing out on moving onwards with your life. Yes, yes. Oh my God, it's the first time I've heard Someone said that and it really struck me. Thank you, Pai. <laughs> so, mga kaibigan, let's rewind this what Pai had said. If you want to grow a tree, for example, even to the point of borrowing a seed from someone else, from a friend, or grow first a tree. So, that's right. The attitude talaga, the attitude, my friend, is very, very important. So, I think we all have um, ang ganda naman ng message ni Miss Reina. Thank you for sharing your experiences, Mom Pai. The world, the word of wisdom from you is a big help, especially to those who will start their business with the help of Mamaritas Allen. Wow! Thank you, Rene. Thank you for watching, Christina. Thanks for watching from Japan. I love it. Oh my God! So again, mga kaibigan, we all have the same hands, the same legs. We have a beautiful brain. Yes. Then, let's keep moving. <laughs> Wow. Keep onwards and upwards always never backwards never backwards and i like it when you say you keep moving forward you really like you know forward forward yeah. always yeah in, the, in that way we are both the same for me talaga, i kept so busy because i just keep moving forward i just sometimes the emotions that's that's right. That's Actually, right. It was my it was my dad uh, that taught me about that. Uh, like you, 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 you get it. You eat the mango and then you plant the, the seed and then it will blossom into a mango tree well, over time. And then you have so many mangoes to pick. So let them pick all the mangoes. The bar. Right. Yeah. Wow! I love it. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's and my, uh, my entry paragraph into Babson College, and that's how they accepted me. Early acceptance was about my mango, my mango seed planting tree uh, story with me okay, and my tell family. us, tell us about it. Tell us a bit about it. Well, because okay, so my dad is a farmer by nature. He's he can grow anything. Ako, I I can't grow maski yung mango beans during um nung grade school ako na matay. Um, <laughs> Pero sabi niya sa akin, lahat ng kinakain mo na buto, like let's say fruits, especially yung mango, kunin mo yung buto, isave mo yan, itatanim mo yan. After, you know, two to five to, or seven years, it's going to grow. And then it's like any business. Eh. When you invest a little, 
you put a little effort in, you put all the work and you have patience, you have determination and you have the capacity, the agility and the and I guess you talagang sariling sikap, it will grow. Right. And you have to have patience for it to blossom because it doesn't happen overnight. That's right. Yeah, because there's a lot of people who think that, hey, you know, I'll do this and then can I have an instant uh, result? Yeah. Instant so, gratification. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So next, ano na, pag, pag tatawagan ko na yung caretaker ko dyan sa, ano, sa El Nido. Maraming. <laughs> yes, kasi asset yan. Your trees will be an asset in the future. You'll yeah, never I, know. I, know. I, I actually been, I'm very good at, at planting trees. I love, I love nature. And in fact, I had been growing trees. So, so yeah. that's very close to my heart. So thank you. So question now. I know you have told me, told us that um, you have grown beautiful and started beautiful business, um, you know, with, with FEM, with Charina Sarde, and you have another business. Can you walk us through each of them? Like, what can we expect and where do we get it? How do we order these things from you? Um, so first it started with me being two months postpartum. So like after giving birth to Nara, literally C-section, 200 pounds, you know, like Charina was my Charina was my good friend and she's been um a designer for a, a long time now. She's based in Paris. So very well known. She said yes. pilots loungewear. So because sige game pero yung mommy brain ko ngayon ni hindi ko pa kaya. But see, that was the challenge. And she pushed me. And now Noah and Nara is such a success. Yes. I'm wearing one of our best selling uh Mini summer mini dresses, if you want to see. Yeah, please. It's one size. It's so comfortable, no? I love the print. One size, one size fits all. You yeah. can belt it. It has pockets. And it's perfect for like you mga work from home moms mm -hmm. or like if you want to be nice. puede rin siyang pang errands. I mean, and it's affordable. You don't have to go to the mall. You can order this um, on IG and you know it's and we support you know like uh artisans in india and you know what's happening there now so it's yes. like it's a really really nice um brand and business for me i mean it's so not that's noah and nara noah, so and that's nara. noah and nara because charina's son is noah and my baby is nara so it's noah and nara okay so mga kaibigan noah and nara that's without an h ha? so n-o-a and then N -O -A -H. Nara. Merong H, N O A H, Noah and Nara. Okay, I'm gonna because we're gonna flash it right now. Yeah, okay. you can check us out on IG at Noah and Nara. Nara. Okay, yes. so that's one. So these are for outfits for moms, right? Yes. No way, these Nara. are all loungewear. This is like loungewears. Yeah, because nowadays, like, everybody stays at home, work from home. So, like, let's say, nag Zoom meeting tayo, eto, mukha naman ako presentable, di ba? It is. But, it is. Pala, it's a modern duster. I mean, you yes. can, like, you know, you can take and care then, of your kids, you can cook in the kitchen, and then half body, oh, decente, mukha ako nakapolo. It ba? is. But, no, it is beautiful. Wow, wonderful. Okay. I will send for you. I will send. Please. Okay, so another one. So we have Noah and Nara. Then you have also a partnership with our dearest friend, Femela Baranda. Yes. yes. So Fem, who is now just um, enjoying her new mamahood because she has her beautiful daughter, Ilya, we decided to build um, a mama wear business, actually, because I was complaining na bakit parang, you know, for moms, ang ang limited ng selection, tas ang mm -hmm. mamahal pa. Tapos mm -hmm. sabi ko, you know, when I breastfeed, like I really felt so exposed, walang bathrobe na tama, tapos I had to put, I mean, it was just, I yeah. just felt like with all the innovation and all the technology in this, you know, in this year and after all all of the COVID craze, that, you know, mama wear and the mama, it's so backwards still. Like I would mm -hmm. shop for mama covers and it was like Snoopy. I mean, I know you like Snoopy. Some of them like Snoopy, but diba, nice naman to have an urban chic mom. So that's why we yes. created Love and Mama to make mamas feel, you know, relevant. And that, and then they are. Yeah, that's right. Wow. So these ones, the man, are still on IG and people can order. Uh, yes. So these, different these are, yeah. So these, the man, is at Love and Mama. 
Okay. Um, and you can order on IG. Actually, we did so well during Mother's Day. We did. Um, we have Mama Nellas because it's so hard to wear chinelas. La na. Nice. Oh, oh, nice. So love Mama. We made Party Mama. Cool Mama. We made classic, and they're just they're just your regular chinelas that that are comfy and like furry. So again, hindi siya mukang, you know, pang hotel slippers. Mm-hmm. Parang gusto lang namin up- upgrade si Mama na she's yes. cool, she de- she's loved, and she deserves to be treated like she's not a, uh, you know, not a uh, outdated. Um, yeah, no, that that's nice. Yeah. And and like what you said. What, like what you're saying, Pai, this is very beautiful, nicely designed, and it's very affordable as well. Right? Very affordable. Like our 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 Mama Nellas are 1680. And then our t-shirts that are super fun, like it says Mom Boss or Hustlin' Mama or Milk Maker or Mama All Day Every Day or Mom Knows Best. But so whatever to what make mom. Nice. Yeah, so those are those are also very affordable. I, I think they're six ninety nine for sure. Yeah, wow. And then we are developing other products, like we have robes that are coming. Um, so stay tuned for that because I could not find a decent bathrobe or pajamas. Yeah, for no, nothing. Moms. Nothing. I can. Or, I cannot remember anything. No, I like the pants were horrendous. As in, mm-hmm. parang, parang, I don't understand why. And and then if you want shampoo and nice ones, napakamahal naman. So for yeah. me and Fred, we wanted accessible mama wear na medyo urban yung dating. Na pe, pang pabata, pang pabagets. Of course, oo. At saka, yun, I mean, I think, you know, life is too short, so you might as well, like, you know, look presentable, look pretty. You are, everyone now is becoming a mompreneur. And um, you can practically do whatever you can back at home wow mga kaibigan ang galing so you should. i will i will oh mag, mag collaborate tayo so my yeah. question with all okay. these things happening to your life do you think luck may have been probably on your side and have you felt this all along or is this something that you have developed do you think feng shui somehow and like what you said the no. positive energies help you as well you told me that 2020 is a bad year for me, so I should focus. I will never forget, you know this, I have good memory. Sabi mo nung nag-meeting tayo, sabi mo pa 2020, mag-focus ka on charity, ganito, masama sabi. Well, I mean, masama yung, it's not my year eh, kasi year of the, I'm year of the rabbit and 2020, yeah. year of the metal rat, correct? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. You said, you said that it would be a very challenging year for me and it was. And that's when Nara happened. I got pregnant. And then that negative or that, you know, that misfortune or that that kind of, uh, what do you call it? So feng shui, feng shui, like um, that like, you um, forecast, you turn it into something yeah, positive. That, that's forecast. You told me, Napai, focus on this. And I did. And look what happened. Naging super successful pa ako with three things na yeah. I can't, di ni ko nakakatulog. Grabe. I talk to my suppliers yeah. in India, in Colombia, habang sinara na sa tabi ko. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's it again it's turning, amazing. turning you like what you asked, turning positive. It was turning your negative into positive, and it's not just luck because you know, as you said and you've taught me before, feng shui is only thirty three percent. Hard yeah. work is thirty three percent, and birth right ama you're given yeah, your destiny your destiny what you are able to do with it so yeah. if you're hard working and you already are it's you know your destiny then i think you should just push on the hard working para matapos na <laughs> that's right no i just wish that a lot of women out there you know a lot of people would really have the drive to to also be like you know to believe in themselves because I think there's a lot of people out there, mga kaibigan, that you know, you turn, you, you become very like, um, kaya ko ba to? You know, sometimes you question yourself, kaya ko ba to? Or, you know, we, you have not even started it, but yet you're already questioning yourselves. So, Pai is right, mga kaibigan. You just keep, you focus, you continue. And whether it works, it's fabulous. If it doesn't work, at least you have given it a try. Yes. Right, Pai? 
you know? Yes, I have made so many mistakes. I'm only 33. I'm turning 34 and I have made a gazillion mistakes. Wrong choices, wrong moves, wrong business ideas, wrong love moves. I've done everything in the last 34, 33 years that mistakes are not mistakes um, for, you know, just by chance. Mistakes are there to teach you a lesson and again, to move forward and learn from that lesson. Yeah, mistakes teach us a lesson. I'm trying to, to sort of take note of this. I mean, you guys have given us really a lot of inspiration. A lot of our guests who came in to the show. Thank you. Uh, we have here Miss Eaf. Hello, Mama Rites and Mom Shipai watching from Cebu. Oy, maayong gabi is a muha diha. Edita Santos, good evening to you. We have a huge one from Rene. Sabi niya dito, yeah, I agree. It's too expensive to have a prenatal clothes in the Philippines. It's a good news to every expected mom to have those stuff, especially that we set a budget for giving birth and the needs of the baby. Please post ulit po yung IG. God bless po. And mama. Yeah, Love Anna and, and mama. mama. Oh, yung haba ng ano niya, oh. Mama wear chic. Mama wear chic. Oh, oh, sabi niya dito, Mama Rites, maybe you can collaborate po for the design for I good fortune that everyone needs, especially sure. when we're facing pandemic. The taste in fashion with fortune is a big help. Keep inspiring every woman in the society. Thank you po. Oh, yung galing naman ni Rene. Taga saan ka, Rene? Thank you for your uh, beautiful message. Here, uh, Miss Gale. Miss Miss Gale is our good friend. Miss Gale is watching from Tagig. Uh, Dexter, I'm loving this episode. Lots of ideas and inspiration. Miss Joey Abanilia, love your insights. Agree with Sariling seek up and patience. Hindi pwede agad agad talaga. Thank you. So talagang ano mga kaibigan, patience is a virtue. Kailangan talaga pala mga kaibigan. Ano lang, uh, hinay-hinay at dahil sa <laughs> Yes, yeah, so okay. We've talked about your collaboration with, with um, Charina Sarte. Then yes. for the last where we have with Pai, uh, Fem. Fem for your love and mama. Then there yes. is another one. Yes, so the other one is my own, which, which is I think that has been... In, on the back end for the longest time and I finally launched it again during COVID and when I was sick with COVID pneumonia. <laughs> oh my God. Um, it was because of my two friends, I mean, one best friend and because of my partner, Neil, they were mm -hmm. like, you should already launch your home homeware business, your Bahay Bahayan. Right. Yeah. And you know, Bahay Bahayan, meaning gusto ko maganda lahat ng tinitingnan ko. It doesn't have to be yeah. Um yes. Pwedeng, pwedeng, ano, creative ka lang. But yeah. at the same time, I turned it into a business. So that one is Perla Manila. Ah, Perla Manila. This is the one with the, with the homewares. We have the, yeah. So I think we have some photos uh, earlier with um with your baby. Um, yes. It's around the furniture, di ba? Uh, yes. You were, yeah. It, it, we're just trying to put it on, on uh, share it, my okay. friends. Um, it's very, very nice to have that. And this one, is it now rolling out or it's um, available now or it's for so, pre-order? Yes, it's, it's all available now. So right now, we haven't launched our website dahil sobrang dami naming, um, sobra daming orders na wow. we can't so I'm actually wearing the one. Our there's Nara. We, we did a Mother's Day giveaway. So those placemats are handmade in Colombia. Wow! So it's actually, um, homeware from all over the world, and of course we're gonna support local. But at the same time, mm -hmm. I want to layer and texture what we can find globally. I mean, yes. hindi lang, it's not just about local products and supporting local. It's also supporting the rest of the world and putting that together in your home. Yes, that's right. But it's really very nice because I think it's really like the totality of what you do is all related and goes back to motherhood with this little kitty kitty baby. I'm yet to see her. <laughs> I'm yet to see her. 
I remember when we have to decide on when is she gonna come out in this world. <laughs> when she was she was born uh, 8 8 20, 20. Yes. August 8, 2020. She had to be, you know, she's supposed to be born on a different date, but because she was ready to come out, so you know. Uh, we were challenged with the time, but you know, she's the super baby and she loves to come out immediately. <laughs> I remember uh, we have to look at several dates. So congratulations, Pai, to you on the course with Jarina, with our dearest you. friend, uh, Fem, and you, you and thank you. I'm sure thank it's going to be like a super wow and super successful business thank you. so thank you for your time and lastly do you sh do share to our friga friends to our followers out there anywhere in the world um i know you have given us a lot of tips and advice on how to navigate in this present time i believe in the philippines the the pandemic is still mm -hmm. very much um you know not not yet controlled um right. how do you, how do you uh advice you know some mamas out there or the women or or even the fathers watching us right now how do we navigate to get through this time uh one is i think that you should face it head on don't be afraid i've gotten covid i've got a covid pneumonia i've just given birth and i got really sick and at the end of the day um you know you will be faced with bigger challenges. And if you just look at life on a different perspective where we are lucky to experience this now, so in the future we are more prepared of what we have to do, then now you know what's more important, which is family, which is you know uh, growing your business from the seed to a tree and having patience. And then really selecting and prioritizing what is important in your life. It's not just all about money. It's all about happiness and, you know, being able to love what you do. Because if we love what you do, then it won't feel like work at all. And you will be rewarded in so many ways. And that, I think, is the good um, and positive energy from Feng Shui that Marites has taught me also. Thank you so much, Pai. Oh my God. This is so wonderful to have you. And I wish you the best of luck and, and anything and success of whatever you endeavor with you and your friends. And hopefully one day, you know, we can be physically hug each other after the pandemic. We will. We will. Well, and, hopefully uh, we will. We will. What we will yeah. once we can travel, we will go there and visit you know. and we're gonna have tea. I will. Oh, oh I, I look forward to that. And um, again, from the bottom of my heart, I know you're a very, very busy mompreneur. And uh, thank you so much for the very kind words. Um, your inspiration has really cascaded to our viewers as well. And it's very, it's just really nice to to know more about you, to know more. Uh, I know time is not enough. Um and then you have, you have a baby you have a baby to look after sleeping. <laughs> and um thank you so much and to those who are uh watching us right now again thank you so uh, i have here a message by from dexter i can truly relate when the conversation with two inspiring women such a very empowering talk with life and business balance of all the things that matter kodos ladies Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you, Kuya Dexter. Thank yeah. you. Si Rene naman daw is from Elucosur. I hope you guys can visit us here in our humble Casa Antonio. I am wow. galing, Casa Antonio. I love the sound of Casa Antonio. And I think the takeaway, my friends, in today's episode is that face things head on. Be prepared from selecting and uh, prioritizing the things that you love. Diba? Sabi nga ni Pai, if you work with your... Uh, if you love what you do. You love the work. Yes. Right? It won't feel like work at all. Yes, that's right. So yun, mga kaibigan. And then uh, I know I have five minutes to entertain your question and answer. Um, if Pai has to go and relax now and have a good evening with the family. Thank okay. you so much, Pai. So you're Thank okay. You. So if you have some more questions... I'm okay. You're okay. Um, yeah. yeah, mistakes are there to teach you a lesson and a guide to move forward. Wow, ang galing naman. Thank you, thank you so much. 
Um, Una, wala si Pai. Is Pai here? <laughs> I'm still here. Are you here. Okay, Pai, we have here from Christina Higashimoro. Okay. From Japan. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay. Thank you naman sa, ano, sa mga keeping us company over here, mga kaibigan. Oh, and the band. Kon, ano ba yung good night? Konbanwa. <laughs> Konbanwa. Like, okay, liking your insight. So, Pai, if you can just uh, no, share to, our, to us, to, uh, to our friends out here, um, how do we do our feng shui? So, usually when it was not pandemic, Pai and I would catch up and please share to them. Um, <laughs> you would come over my home and you would tell me all the quadrants, the, six, the, the nine quadrants that the feng shui of that year and that direction would entail and yeah. as me as a rabbit, a met, I'm a metal rabbit, ba? Tama ba? Yeah, yeah. A rabbit. So, or a yeah. fire rabbit. Na ito this year, ganito, ganyan. And, you know, you can't naman change your house every day. And I don't naman have a house revolving every day. <laughs> so, you just have to adjust. Um, yeah. And, and you have to listen. You know, if you're going to ask Marites for help, and she's very, very good with that, you just have to listen and adjust because, again, you, not everything you can change. If it's if it's a structure that's already built, maybe there's another way. Um, and Marites is very good at that. She's very good at giving you um, insight and plans and ideas and from very basic things like colors, kung ano yung color na hindi nakaka-inspire or yung kung ano yung color na dapat wala sa bedroom or kung anong color dapat nasa dining. Um, they all have meaning and I've listened to her for the past how many years? Maybe eight years. Forever eight, na. Oh, oh. na. And yes. talagang, you know, the, the energy that you have taught me is not just about luck, fun, fortune, and feng shui. It's really about a way of living. Yes. And right. able to adjust. Kasi nga naman, if you just live one way forever and you don't pivot, and you don't move, you will never grow. You will just be yeah. idle. And if you are idle, then how will you progress, di ba? That's right. Wow, mga kaibigan, pai, my God, this is really a very valuable Monday, mga kaibigan. Our episode is once again a truly a very inspirational episode with the one and only Miss Pai Alvarez, my very <laughs> dear friend. I love you, Pai. Thank you so Hi. much for joining me. And uh, mga kaibigan, again, Pai, um, well, uh, invite them to please follow uh, your Instagram business. Um, yes, uh, please follow us at Noah and Nara for our loungewear. And then at Love and Mama for the mamas who want to be cool and hip. And you don't want to wear Snoopy. I mean, no, no offense to Snoopy. If you love Snoopy, but the pen. But we're trying to make it cool, and we're trying to make it, you know, more tech, like um, clothing tech friendly, like warmer robes. Of course, because malamig if you're breastfeeding and stuff like that. So we're ha we have a little innovation involved. And lastly, is Perla Manila is my passion, and that's what I love to do. So I don't feel like it's work. But it's a lot of work. Um, <laughs> I can imagine. Is my Baha'i Baha'ian project and goods to make your home more warm, more colorful. Because nowadays, home is where the heart is. And that's what really matters. Correct. Wow. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Pai. I love you so much. Mga kaibigan, thank you all for watching. And see thank you, you next Monday. Bye. Sorry. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Be careful. Stay safe, everybody. Stay safe. Kung gusto niyo pong tuloy-tuloy ang swerte sa buhay, mga kaibigan, pwede po kayo mag-invest ng Nine Dragons Painting. Ito po ay nagsisimbolo ng inyong kasaganaan sa buhay ay pwedeng dumating sa iba't ibang maswerteng lokasyon. Mari po maglagay ng mga well chips sa inyong bahay kung ikaw po ay isang negosyante o kung gusto mong umunlad ang inyong negosyo. Mari po siyang lagyan ng mga coins o mga gold ingots para po punong-puno at maswerte ang daloy ng negosyo sa inyo.
Alam nyo ba na dapat sa pagtulog, kailangan na isang buong cushion ang kanilang hinihigaan at hindi po dalawang single bed na magkadikit lamang because yung sakit na na kanilang patlang ay posibleng magsimbolo ng hiwalayan ng mag-asawa. Sa inyong mga living room or sofa, kailangan po maglagay ng mga Uh, cushions na merong mga mystic nut symbol. Ang mystic nut po mga kaibigan ay nagbibigay ng mga peace and harmony para sa pamilya.